Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through a number of options that you have in Internet Explorer 7 for organizing your favorites. This includes deleting them, ordering them, and organizing them into folders. To start the tutorial, I'm going to start from the basic Internet Explorer window, and we're going to click on the Add to Favorites button. When you click on that, you have a number of other options beside adding favorites. One of them is Organize Favorites. Click on that. And this brings up the Organize Favorites window. From this you'll see, of course, we have a number of options here. It lists all the favorites that currently exist in your favorite list. And I'm going to click on New Folder. As soon as I do that, it creates a new folder at the bottom of the favorites list, and the title for the new folder is highlighted, meaning that it's available to be immediately edited. We want to change the name. Normally, we don't want to go with the default name of new folder, so I'll just call this Google folder. And when you hit the Enter key, that commits the text that you just entered as the name for the new folder. Now what I'm going to do is select an existing favorite. <clears throat> we'll take Google One, and I'm going to click on the Move button. When I do that, it pops up another window. It's the Browse for Folder window, and it's going to ask me what folder I want to put this link or this favorite into. So I'm going to select the folder we created called Google Folder and I'm going to click OK. You'll also see that you're not locked into the folders that are existing. You can make a new folder on the fly if you want. But in this case, we're going to go with the new folder that we just created called Google Folder. I'll click OK. Now, I'm back to the Organize Favorites window. And if we click on this, you'll see that it opens up that folder. And under that folder, you can see it's moved the Google One link that we created. Now, as long as I have that selected, the Google folder, I'm going to click on Rename. When I rename, once again, I get the Edit Text field that allows me to change the name of this folder. And once again, as soon as I hit the Enter key, that text is committed as the name of the folder. Of course, you can do the same thing with the favorites themselves, not just the folders. You can click on a favorite, you can go to rename, and you can change the name of the favorite as well. Now I'm going to go here and once again select Google folder that I had created earlier, and I'm going to click on delete. When I do this, it's going to bring up a confirm folder delete. It's making sure that I do in fact want to do what I've just asked to do. I'm going to click on yes. And now that folder's gone. Note that the folder's gone and any favorites that you had inside the folder are gone as well. One more thing to show you from this screen is that you'll notice things here right now are, are organized roughly alphabetically. Um, but you can use this to organize them in any way you want. I'll have this other link here called Google 2, and I can click it and hold down the left mouse button and drag it up somewhere else. And now it's there higher up in the order. In fact, I can drag it right to the top of the list if I so choose. I can go up here. I can even have, have it show up above the folders. You'll see now it will show up as the first item in the favorites list. Just for now, I'm going to drag it back down. <clears throat> you can also drag it into other folders in the same manner. And you'll see now it exists back at the bottom of the list. Now what we're going to do is we're going to walk through what's essentially the same tutorial. It's just going through a shortcut method. When I first started this tutorial, I started this by going to the Add to Favorites link and that pulled up the Organize Favorites window. But you really don't have to go through those steps if you don't want. Instead, you can click right on your Favorites Center 
which is where it shows all the favorites in your list. And from here, you're going to find that you have a lot of options to manage this directly. First of all, anywhere on here, doesn't matter where, I'm just going to right click. And when I right click, you see it brings up a context menu. And one of the items in the context menu says create new folder. I remember we created a new, new folder before. This is just basically a shortcut method to do it. And I'm going to call that folder Google folder again. And when I hit enter, that commits the text that I've entered as the name of the folder. Now it's created. It's sitting at the bottom of the folder list where all the new folders are created by default. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to drag it higher up in the list. So I'm going to left click on it and while I'm holding down the mouse button, I'm going to drag it right up the list. And again, I think I want this <clears throat> right at the top. So now you'll see that my Google folder is listed right at the top of my favorites list. Now that that's been moved, I can also take a favorite. This time I have Google 2, and I can drag that as well. I'm going to drag this up towards the top, and this time I'm going to put it in the Google folder. You'll notice when I click on this, now Google 2 is listed under the Google folder. Now from here as well, I can right click on Google folder and I have the option here in the context menu to rename. Rename just as it did before will give you the chance to add new text, change existing text, whatever in the name of the folder. And again just like in the organized folders menu or excuse me old organized favorites menu I can also do the same thing with the favorites themselves. I can rename them, I can drag them around just as I've done already. And finally from here, I'm going to right click on the Google folder and I'm going to choose the delete option. It'll give me the same confirmation screen, ensuring that I really do in fact want to delete this folder. And I'll click yes. And now when I go back and look at my favorites list, there is no more Google folder. And the link which was inside it, which went to Google, is gone as well because I deleted a folder and the folder had within it favorites that also got deleted in the process. This concludes this tutorial, and thank you for viewing this on showmeacademy.com.